previously on water your soil a navy federal credit card and you do have navy federal and you have the access to navy federal do me one big favor all right this is the favor that i'm asking of you all take advantage of everything that comes along with being a member of navy federal whether that be a home loan, whether it be just having an account in general, or it could be the credit cards, you know, whatever it may be, take advantage of it because I always hear the great things that come from it, you know. When I see these videos and people talk about the credit limits, I be like, man, y'all winning out here. Hey, what's going on out there? I'd like to welcome every single one of you to Order Your Soil. Hey, so in this video... I'm going to talk about a recent documentary that I watched the other day. This documentary actually premiered on YouTube a couple of days ago and is by Frontline PBS. And the documentary is titled The Credit Card Game. Now, based on the title, you know I had to do a video on this documentary because it's about credit cards. And what I like to do over here at this Water Your Soil channel is I like to talk about credit cards. Not only do I like to talk about credit cards on this channel, I also like to inform people of the pros and the cons of credit cards. And I like to try to get my point across as far as teaching people how to use credit cards the correct way. The correct way meaning managing them the correct way as far as like utilization, how much to spend, when to pay and things like that. So, of course, this documentary, it caught my eye. And I decided to watch the documentary in full. And I must say, I was impressed with the documentary. Now, it was three major things that was covered in the documentary. Mainly, they talked about credit cards, especially initially. They definitely talked about credit cards. They talked about the fees that come along with credit cards. The fees that we try to get you all to avoid. You know, you don't want to be paying interest and you definitely don't want to be paying late fees because if you're paying late fees, you're basically just giving these credit card companies just extra money that they can use. So you don't want to be paying late fees. And I even try to take it a step further on this channel and tell people to pay their balance off in full. If you're a subscriber to this Water Your Soil channel, you should already be aware that I always tell people to make sure that if they're going to use a credit card to make sure they are able to pay it off in full the very next month. Because if you're not able to pay it off in full the very next month, that's a sign of two things. Either you're spending too much or you should not be spending at all. And it's either one of those two things if you can't afford to pay off what you spend on your credit card the very next month. And, you know, doing so keeps you out of credit card debt down the line, both in the present and in the future. It keeps you out of credit card debt. But getting into the documentary, it was a pretty good documentary. When they started off talking about credit cards, I was impressed because they covered a lot of the things that I like to talk about on this channel. And I always tell you all to manage your credit cards the correct way, the way how things are set up. A lot of you out there, you come on YouTube and you see the videos that are posted on YouTube and you're like, hey, I got to sign up for a credit card. I got to sign up for as many credit cards as possible. And I actually think it's kind of funny that they titled the title of the documentary, The Credit Card Game, because that's what a lot of people consider this. They consider it a game. And as you know, if you don't play the game correctly, you can lose in the game. And with credit card debt currently being $1 trillion, a lot of people are losing in the game. Everyone who is in that $1 trillion credit card debt situation, they may not have the finances in order to pay off whatever they spend. However, there are a good amount of people who do have a good salary and things like that. They're just doing overspending. They're buying luxury goods. They're going on trips. They spend a lot of extra money that they really don't have, but they're just doing it not out of necessity, but out of a luxury and because they want to. And the credit card documentary covered that because, like I stated, they're discussing interest as well as late fees. And then in the documentary, they moved on to debit cards because, you know, a lot of people 
they like to brag about having a debit card, especially if they cut up their credit cards. Now, I never advise people to cut up their credit cards. I always tell people to just make sure you know how to use your credit card the correct way, the way that keeps you out of debt, which is basically spending what you could pay off the very next month. However, you know, some people cut up their credit cards and they move on to debit cards and they always say, well, I move on to a debit card because that's actually my money. So I know I could spend it. But one cool thing in the documentary that they covered is how some people overspend when it comes to a debit card. And when they overspend, they get hit with all types of fees from these banks. And it's really no different from how it is with the credit cards, how the fees just continue to pile up. And eventually you're paying the bank more than what you should be paying them because you're overspending. So it's kind of interesting that they cover that as well, because like I said, a lot of the counter action that a lot of people have in regards to a credit card is, oh, I'm going to go and get a debit card or, oh, I'm going to use my debit card and I'll have better results. But if you're bad with money, you're bad with money, whether that's with a credit card or a debit card. If you're not responsible, it's going to transfer over no matter what it is. And the third thing that they covered in the documentary was payday loans. And I always call payday loan places predatory. The interest rates on them are ridiculous. One of the main reasons why I have this channel, there are a lot of reasons, of course, but one of the main reasons is to educate people so they never have to be in that predicament of having to go to a payday loan place. And in the type of environment that I grew up in, they were all over the place. And people become accustomed to using payday loans. They'll go there and they'll get money, pay interest, then they'll pay it back. And then they'll go there again. And it just becomes a cycle of going to a payday loan place and get money while you're paying them these big interest rates, which are ridiculous and predatory. No one really says it, but that's what it is. And I'm happy that the documentary actually covered it and actually mentioned it being predatory. And it was kind of interesting because when they interview people in the documentary, whether it was credit card companies and how they started with charging people high interest rates, even though they're saying no annual fee and things like that. And people behind the debit cards and people behind the payday loans and every single person that they interviewed basically gave the impression that they don't care about the general public. They just want money. It's all about capitalism and it's understandable from their viewpoint. However, when it comes to us, we have to be more conscious minded when it comes to, you know, managing our money and not paying these ridiculous fees that come along with not paying off your balances on time. So if you do have a credit card, you need to check out that documentary. You can search it on YouTube. It's called The Credit Card Game. It's by Frontline PBS. Check out the documentary whenever you get the chance. It just came out this week, so you should be able to check it out on YouTube. But I enjoyed the documentary. It talks about a lot of things that I often talk about on this channel. It lets me know that I am on the right path, educating people about certain things that they should look out for when it comes to credit cards. Like I always tell people, if I'm going to tell you about the benefits of credit cards, I also have to tell you about the cons as well. And part of my job over here at Water Your Soil is to not only teach you about FICO credit scoring, but if I'm going to teach you about credit cards, I need to teach you how to use them the correct way. And that's what I like to do. I have tons of videos on this channel where it can help you with managing your credit card the correct way, staying out of credit card debt, as well as increasing your FICO score. Just go on my homepage of this Water Your Soil channel and scroll through the videos and the playlist that I have on the homepage. But anyways, if you are new here and you feel in the vibe, this is Water Your Soil. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications. That way you don't miss a future video because I post often. And this goes to every single one of you watching. Of course, my subscribers included. Be sure to hit the like button. The like button helps this video circulate. It helps the algorithm and lets the algorithm know like, hey, people like this video. That documentary, I really appreciate Frontline PBS for coming out with it because a lot of people think credit cards are a joke and credit cards are not a joke. They're dangerous if you don't know how to use them the correct way. 
there are a lot of benefits that come along with them. But like I stated, a lot of people, they don't know how to use credit cards the correct way. They just think they are a credit card game. And a lot of people are losing in the credit card game. But anyways, I appreciate you all for watching. This is Word of Your Soil, and I'm out. Wait, 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 wait. Before you leave, be sure to check out the description box below. That way you can have all the credit resources from Water Your Soil. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button as well, all right? In the description box below, I always tell people, check out the description box below for extra resources from Water Your Soil. Part of the description box also showcases my book that I have. I have a book, it's been out for a while now, it's been out for years, it's titled, strategies to master credit the book is available it's on amazon it's on barnes and noble most online bookstores have the book and the book is basically about how fico credit scoring works once you understand how fico credit scoring works you're pretty much on your way to helping yourself build develop and maintain a good credit score so check the book out whenever you get a chance